Hello and welcome back to my channel. If you don't know me, my name is Sosa. I'm a software engineer who does a bunch of software engineering things. And in today's video, I'm doing something a little bit different. It's still engineering. In this video, I'm gonna kind of take you through something I've been building, something that I'm really proud of. I kind of want to take you guys along this journey. Let's just jump into it. So I've been building a web app. First, I should give you some backstory. First of all, I'm the type of person who does or likes to do, not even likes, <laughs> I'm the type of person who does a thousand things at one time and I like to do all those things really well even though half the time it's not possible. So that translates into me in this moment. I am a software engineer, as you guys know, in my 9 to 5. And then I'm also doing my master's in computer science through Georgia Tech. And when I'm not doing that, I'm also building out a web app that I'm really, really passionate about. Then I'm also filming YouTube videos. I figured I could combine my two loves, my loves for making videos and helping people out and my love and passion for this thing that I'm building right now. So that's what this video is about. I kind of want to take you through the app, what I've built so far, what I plan on showing you guys. I'm working on this every day. I think it would be cool for me to kind of, you know, track what I've been doing so far and make maybe do like a vlog or something about what I've built so far, um, show you guys some of the features that I'm doing, do a tutorial or two on some of the features, things like that, just so I can bring you guys into this process and bring you guys into what I'm building and be able to give you the video and the content that you like while I'm able to upload content that I like and also work on something that I'm passionate about. That's what I'm doing. That's what I hope that this becomes kind of a series. So to get into what I'm actually building and why you clicked on this video. The web app that I'm building is called Frostbite. Frostbite is an idea that came out of just me thinking about problems that I've had in my life, problems that I've wanted to solve with code. I want to work on something that will make a difference. I want to work on something that will make an impact. One day, I, I was just kind of thinking about all of the problems I've had in my life and trying to figure out something that other people have struggled with and figuring out whether or not it's something that I could solve with code. The thing that I thought about was the time that I spent in high school with college planning, college access, college readiness, planning and thinking about going to college. When I think back to that time, it was a really stressful time for me, and I think it was for a lot of other high school students. Part of the reason was I did not really have direct access with my guidance counselor, which I don't necessarily blame her for. Like, I went to a big public school, and so I was one of her, like, 400 other students, so she didn't really have the time to, like, sit down with me and be like, okay, this is what college planning is. You want to look at these types of schools and you look at your grades and see if they match in this range, blah, blah, blah. And so so I kind of had to navigate that all on my own. I was a first gen student and so my parents are from Nigeria. They also had no idea about the college planning process. All they knew was that they wanted me to either become a doctor, a lawyer, or an engineer. And they also knew about the five or six or however many Ivy League schools there are. And that was my college knowledge in my household. Navigating all of that and trying to figure out what was the best college for me, how do I get scholarships, like how do I pay for for this. Picking a college is a huge decision. I really wanted to build something to help the old Sosa, the younger Sosa, who was like in high school, like a freshman, sophomore who was kind of thinking about college planning, but like was too terrified of the process. Like I want to build something for her. It's been well documented that the college application process is incredibly stressful with the national average of student to counselor ratio being 491 to one. This leaves students without the proper guidance in the process and left to figure out things on their own. This can be especially hard for low income or first generation students who can't rely on their parents or guardians for help. The challenge as a high school student in the process is to be well informed, prepared, focused, and organized throughout the multi-step college search and admissions process. And on top of that, usually students
students are applying to as many as six to 10 schools at one time. Keeping track of everything and organizing next steps for each college on your list can easily become overwhelming. And that's where Frosh Labs comes in. Frosh Labs aims to be the college application command center for the millions of high school students thinking about or planning on applying to college. It's the ultimate web app to help students effectively navigate a very complicated and stressful process. So I will now take you into what I've been building. Right now I'm going to kind of take you through what I've been building. Welcome to my laptop. Like I said before, it's called Frostbite and the idea is to be able to build something that'll help high school students who need information or just need help with planning and managing the college search process. I can tell you that it's built on React. I'm using React as a framework to um, build out components. I'll probably also do a refactoring video like where I go through and like refactor a lot of my code because it is a mess right now. Like I can show you guys a really quick glimpse of what it looks like, but you're not gonna love it. <laughs> like it is crazy. But basically I can show you the layout of the code. So this is Frostbite. So when you go into client, that's the front end. And I was originally doing my own back end, but that was a lot of work. So I ended up using AWS and they have this like Amplify uh, backend type thing. So with AWS Amplify, you can connect your front end to their back end, and then you can use their databases, their storage, everything else like that. And it makes things so much easier to build. Uh, this is the Amplify folder. So this will connect to the back end and then also adds authentication so that people can sign in and, you know, store their data. The stuff that is on the front end is in the source folder. And so the source folder has a bunch of like my main pages. So the dashboard page that I just showed you is here. Another thing I have to mention is that I'm also learning React as I'm doing this. So this is all a new learning experience for me. I don't usually do front end. So I've been trying to kind of use articles and videos as I go. And so I think that's another reason why I want to kind of show my progress and share what I've been doing so far, because I think it'll be cool to show somebody like me who like literally has never used react before this come in and like build out something that's kind of useful i would like to think so this is the dashboard that i built so far it also has you know authentication and things like that so what i can do is sign out and i'll sign back in and then that'll sign me in to the dashboard hopefully yes and so then you know people can sign up and uh store their data things like that and then the goal would be to add like a Google sign in, but for right now, that's not a main priority. This is the dashboard. When a user logs in, they'll see that they have playbooks and I'll explain what that is. And then they can add schools to their college list and they can add schools to either, to a list where they're either applying or where their school is their favorites. And then from the favorites, they can then add it to their applying list. And so then the playbooks page is where I plan on putting all the content and all the steps that a high schooler that a high school student needs to go through in order to get to that like final place of like making a college choice decision none of this is hooked up yet the goal is that you know as a high school student you can click on this getting ready for college planning and then it'll have a bunch of steps that you can then, you know, interactively walk through that'll take you through the college planning process. And so moving on, there's also a groups portion. This is uh, what I've been building. What I wanted to integrate into this platform was for students to be able to not only be able to have a place to like plan all of their stuff, but to also have a place to like chat with friends and plan together. Cause I think a lot of college planning can be very social. And so I added the ability for students to create groups. So creating a group is really easy. You can say, you can call it whatever you want, uh, one, two, three. And we're creating it and that will reload the page. And then now we have our new group here and it automatically adds whoever is logged into the group. And then you can also invite some friends. So let's say I have another test user. So I'll add that test user um, and send that invitation new member added you can also see that they're here and then you have these two options you can go to their picnic chat which is kind of like a slack that i've um, kind of built out or you can go to the groups basket so right now we'll go to the chat 
And so once it loads, you see that uh, there are no places for anyone to talk. Um, park sites are kind of like channels, like in Slack, you have different channels that you can talk to people in about like different conversations. And then you also have your direct messages. So let's create a channel and I'll call it general and I'll say a place to talk about whatever. And we'll create that site. And now we see that our channel is successfully created and we have no messages just yet, but we can see that, you know, we have the header that we had already put in and a place to put in the messages. So we'll say, hi, first message. Send message and here we go. This is so cool to like see it actually working in real time. So then we can also have direct messages. So I can send a direct message to any of the users in the group. This is me right here, right now. Like this is the current user I'm signed in with, which you can't do. So you can't send a direct message to yourself, but you can um, obviously send a direct message to somebody else. So I can create a DM and then that'll reload the page. And then that'll show me, hey, you can start a new DM here. And I just, I'm so happy because nothing's breaking so far, but then I can then talk to the user and send a direct message to them. So I think this is just a really cool way for students to be able to interact with their friends and like talk about their college planning processes, things like that. And then when we go to the basket, we can see that there are three sections that a member can add information to. So they can, I call this like a group suggestion. So if there's a task that you think everyone should do, or if there's a college you think somebody should look into or a scholarship that you found that somebody should, that somebody should apply to, you'll have them here. And so this doesn't have anything yet, but we're going to go back to groups because that's where I have like a lot of the information. And I can also show you um, how it works when you have multiple users. So here you can see that we're in the general, um, park site and we have a bunch of uh, activity, mainly just me talking to myself. And so uh, these are the two users. You can show older messages and then those will load. And then if I go to a different channel, we have a new member here and then the messages for specific for this park site. And then uh, more direct messages here on the side that you can see and no messages to this new user. We can go to our basket and we can say, hey, what are the recommendations? Or what has what have the other members put in, to, put in here? So we have a task for me saying, hey, try to get new recommendations and then colleges that people should look into and then scholarships. And then if somebody, if a member provides a link, you can click on that link and it'll take you to the site that they listed and it's really easy to add something new. So if I wanted to say start your app, uh, my computer's a little slow, start your applications. I could do that, it would submit. And then if I were to go back, I can see it here, start your applications. So, and then colleges is kind of like the meat of the application, I guess. So I already have, uh, three colleges here and then if you click on here you have your favorites list you can't already add um, you can add something from your applying list to your favorites list but it won't add it if you already have it there whenever you add a new college it'll then list all of the application tasks that are like general tasks that you should do for the application and so I can click on one of these things to update the task and say that I haven't done it yet. Here you can also list your intended major, application term, um, notes if you have them, and then you can upload files. And then there's a bunch of other things that I implemented. And just to move a little quicker, we also have a task list. So here is just where you do, you have your general school year tasks. I'm kind of trying to base this off of school year. So like grade nine, you have some specific ones, your sophomore year, you have specific tasks. And then if you don't have tasks that you want to create, you can find some suggestions and then add them to your list. And they're based off of, again, the year that you're in school. And then we have a deadline section that is not implemented yet. It's just all front end. And it was originally implemented because I did my back end, my 
myself, but then I decided to go with AWS. And so now I have to hook it up to AWS. So then we have our scholarships page or notes page, which you can add notes and then a locker page where you can um, just store a bunch of information. There's also the college search page. So you can search for a school. So let's say I wanted to search for Boston College. Then we find Boston College and we can add this to our favorites list. Boston added to, Boston College added to favorites. And then if I were to go back and click on favorites, I'd see Boston College there. So that was my intro into what I've been building and with Flashbite and kind of just taking you through it. I really hope you liked it. I know it's a little bit of a different video, but I'm thinking that in my next one, I can kind of show you how I build certain features and kind of walk you through that and maybe also doing like a quick react tutorial I think that could be cool so that you guys can like start building things and don't worry if you haven't used like react before I've never used it before I started building this and I've just been learning along the way and I think that's honestly part of the fun of building something is being able to learn throughout the process. So in the next video, the goal is to either, uh, you know, show you what I've built so far, clips of like me refactoring my code, maybe like a vlog type of thing where I'm kind of telling you some of the um, obstacles that I've been facing while building out the, the web app. Leave me some suggestions of what you would want to see me do or build. If this is something that you just don't want to see at all and you want to see a different type of video, that's cool too. I'm thinking that this could be a really cool series and it'll be a cool way to keep me accountable so that I actually like complete this and finish it and, and get it built out for the world and for whoever wants to use it. Let me know. I'm looking forward to seeing you guys in the next video and thanks, bye.